guys welcome back okay so we about to do another coffee and color with kk episode and this one's gonna be a little bit different because i'm not at home as you can see i'm still on the road okay but we gonna work with what we got and make it do what it do okay now for my coffee today your girl is having a little something uh, from the stove. <laughs> this is the Starbucks Frappuccino and it's cold. So I'm drinking a cold coffee drink this morning. Something a little different because um, the coffee in this hotel is not the business. Okay, it's just not the business. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my little Starbucks Frappuccino this morning. And I'm kind of excited I haven't been able to find any really exciting new makeup products to try out while I'm out here, but I do have some. I did come across this foundation, this CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Now this, I don't know how new it is to the market. Not that familiar, not sure, but it's new to me, okay? So we're gonna try this out today. Now this is a matte foundation. It's supposed to give you a nice matte finish without leaving it cakey or dry or whatever so we're gonna try this out i have the shade d15 and it is warm tawny so this is what it looks like i was trying to match it up in the store you guys know walmart don't have no testers so we'll see how this color matches me and i am going to be trying out a palette I've had this palette for a while. I purchased it when it came out, you know, when it was brand new a few months ago. It is the Lorella On The Edge palette. And as you can see, it has this cute little design on here. And I really like the box because the box has all the shades on the back, the ingredients and all that good stuff. And as you can see, it's a pretty well-rounded color range for this palette. There are some gorgeous mattes and shimmers, about 36, not about. There's 36 shadows in this palette, about 11 shimmers, I believe. And let me go ahead and show it to you. This is what the palette looks like. Looks just like the box and has the shades, ingredients, and everything just like the box. So if you wanna to toss the box, you can. But I happen to like these kind because you could just slide it in and slide it out. So I'm one of those who actually keeps my boxes. Anyways, this is what she looks like. There's no mirror in here and these are the colors now you guys may have already seen this because i did show it in my last haul which like i said was a few months ago and as colorful as this palette is for some reason i was looking at it today like why did i buy this palette <laughs> i was just looking at it like what drew me into this palette maybe it was the blues i don't know but as you can see, it has a nice arrangement of blues, mauves, kind of orangey reds, yellows, your greens, your oranges. You know, it has a very nice variety of colors to play with today. So I am excited to play with it, but I don't know. It's just not as bright and colorful as I thought it was, I think, when I first bought it. Now, it retails for $24. I haven't been able to find their cruelty-free status on their website. I feel like I'm overlooking it because in this day and age, I feel like who's not cruelty free and why, <laughs> but I haven't been able to find it on their website. If I find it, I'll add it to the video. So anyways, let's go ahead, throw on some eyebrows, prep these lids, moisturize this face and get ready to go. So of course I'm using my LA Girl Slim Shady Eyebrow Pencil and I'm going to clean up with my Wet n Wild Concealer, and this is in Deep Cocoa, using my ELF Daily Hydration Moisturizer and my Vaseline Lip Therapy for these lips, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna do all that, come back, and then we will jump into this palette, okay? Now you guys, I never drink the pre-made Starbucks coffee drinks, but This mug is good, okay? I have a terrible sweet tooth and I'm always worried about whether or not a coffee drink is gonna be sweet enough for me. But this one is really, really good. It's sweet, it's delicious, it's strong. It's like you can taste the nice brew of the coffee. So it's really, really good. I like it. Paint pot 
to go ahead and prep my lids. Y'all, <laughs> I did one little fancy green eye look with my girl DJ. We did a nice little collab picture for Instagram. Beautiful poison ivy green glittery eye look. And half of my brushes are stained with green <laughs> right now. So when I get home, I'm really gonna have to focus on soaking them and trying to get that green out, but they are stained the house, okay? So let me go ahead, put on my MAC paint pot and we'll move forward. So I'm just putting a little bit of that soft ochre paint pot down. I'm not in the mood to go ham with my eyelids today. So let's go ahead and jump into this palette. And I'm not sure what look I wanna do either, so. We gonna figure this out together. I'm kind of gravitating towards like the reds and peachy shades today. Of course, you guys know that blue is calling my name, but I'm gonna try and stay away from it. Not promising, <laughs> but I'm going to try. So I think what I wanna do, I kind of want to start out with this beautiful red shade here. So I'm going to start out with that. Yes, there are names on here. That one is called Trigger. I did go ahead and give me an eye exam. So I got my contacts updated, y'all, so I could see a little bit better, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go in with Trigger and just kind of place that in my crease area. And I'm not really expecting these shadows to be that pigmented because they don't really appear to be that pigmented in the palette to me, but okay, that's showing up okay. But it's not that deep, rich red, you know? Okay, next I wanna go into this orange color here, and that is called Wild. So I'm gonna take Wild and place that on the inner portion of my lid. We're gonna keep this simple today because I still need to try out that foundation. Yeah, so the pigmentation is not amazing. I don't know if you can see that. It is showing up, but it's not like that super duper bright orange that I'm looking for, okay? Okay, you guys, and I think I want a dark lid today, so I'm going to go into this dark shade here. It's like a dark plum shade, and it's called Mystery. So I'm just going to take and place that on my lid. No cut crease or anything. I'm just kind of blending all of these colors together. So yeah, I definitely think this palette is for someone who wants to play around with color, but might be afraid of a lot of pigment. So, you know, you kind of just want to get your feet wet because you can definitely play around with color, but I really don't see this palette being like extremely bright and bold to where it would get out of hand quickly. You can definitely take your time building these colors up. They do blend together nicely. They are blending together very nicely, but yeah, this palette is for, <laughs> not for someone who loves super duper bright, bold, colors because these colors although they are bright shades they are a bit muted so just to get somewhat of the color to pop you do have to build them up and there is a nice amount of kick up in the pan from this orange i'm going to use a little bit of that mystery shade that dark plum just to kind of deepen up my outer corner and I'm gonna try not to lose that red. Yeah, I would definitely say that this palette is good for someone who's beginning in color and you just wanna play around with just a little bit of color, but if you like bold, bright colors and you really like to get in there like I do, yeah, this palette might frustrate you. <laughs> because it's like there's color. I'm just going in with a little bit of face powder to blend out the edges because there's color, but it's not like color, okay? 
Now I'm going to try and brighten my inner corner just a bit with this yellow shade here. <laughs> and it is called Beehive, okay? Y'all don't wanna mess with the Beehive, okay? Y'all mess with the Beehive or y'all mess with Beyonce, they gonna come for you. <laughs> they are going to come for you. Did y'all see what they did to home chick that was talking to Jay-Z at that game? Okay. They put bees all up in her comments, okay? I know she was like, what in the world? Oh, lady. Okay, so the yellow is pretty nicely pigmented, but it's a gang of kick up in this pan, you guys. A lot of kick up. <laughs> and on my face. <laughs> Okay, so let's throw on some eyeliner and move on to the face. Okay, so for my primer today, I'm going to be using my No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. I did get this in like a boxy charm or boxy lux or something like that. But I'm going to be using this. I wish I would have brought one of my more really moisturizing primers to test out this matte foundation because I don't want to be like crazy crazy matte but I think this primer will be okay yeah it doesn't feel too too matte I know that once it dries it kind of feels like it leaves a barrier on my face but I don't think it's going to be super duper matte Okay, so like I said for foundation, I'm trying out this CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the color D15 and we are gonna work it out. So I think I'm gonna start off with a brush on this side, just a soft brush on this side and I'm going to try out my Sonia Cash Sponge on this side and see what I prefer. And this foundation does have a pump and it does have a lock, so you can turn it to lock it. This is what it looks like. So it's pretty thick, pretty thick. And I don't see if this is supposed to be full coverage or medium coverage. It's looking like it could quite possibly be a full coverage or at least it's buildable so far I like this color I think it's a pretty decent match for me I can still see my dark circles under my eyes a lot so I'm just gonna put a little extra there yeah so I would definitely say it doesn't apply bad with a brush at all it's a nice even clean coverage you can see the difference with the foundation and without the foundation. And although it's a matte finish, it's not like that super drying, crazy, suck your life away matte. It still has a little bit of a glow thus far. So I'm gonna do this side with a sponge and then we'll kind of see how this side dries down. is taking away from the coverage of the foundation of course the sponge is soaking up quite a bit of the foundation where on this side it's nice and it's a pretty full coverage medium to full this side the sponge is definitely taken away from the coverage so since I prefer the brush side I'm going to just add just a teeny tiny pump and go in with the brush on this side just to even them out. So all in all for the foundation, I would say I really like the coverage. I like the shade that I chose for myself. I think it's a pretty good match. I do prefer the coverage with the brush and the sponge. So if you like a full coverage like I do, I would suggest using a brush. If you like kind of a lighter to medium coverage, Going in with a sponge would be perfectly fine. 
but you are going to waste product <laughs> doing it that way. So first impressions, I like it. And the way that this side dried down, although it is pretty matte, it's not coming off on my hand. It is pretty matte, but it still has a nice little healthy glow, okay? So I'm not mad at it. It's kind of reminding me of my Bounce Foundation from Beauty Blender. It is, it's giving me kind of Bounce vibes, okay? So I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna go ahead, go in with my concealer, powder, bronzer, blush, all that good stuff, and then we'll come back and finish these eyes and talk about what we played with today. Okay, you guys, so I finished up my concealer, powder, bronzer, blush, highlight. <laughs> and I did go in, so I used my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer today to highlight and under my eyes. It works beautifully with this foundation. I love how they blend it together. They both have this nice matte, but not deadly matte finish. I did set under my eyes and most of my face with my Derma Blend translucent powder. I did go in and warm myself back up with my e.l.f. face powder. I went in with what is right now my favorite bronzer, my Morphe Glamour Bronze bronzer, and I use the color Phenom. You guys, I love this stuff. It just works perfectly for me. So if you're my skin tone and you're looking for a great bronzer, try this out because it's really, really good. And to go in for my blush and my highlight, I did use my Cover FX palette that I got in my Boxy Lux or Boxy Charm. And I went in with my beautiful blush and I did use this highlighter today. As you can see, pop. <laughs> so this palette is still working its magic in my life, okay? Let's go ahead and finish up these eyes so we can talk about what's going on. So just for my lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with that plum shade, that purple it's called Mystery. I keep calling it Plum, but this shade up here is actually called Plum, the lighter purple. So I'm going into Mystery and I'm going to place that on my lower lash line and I'm also going to smoke it out, I think, with this red shade that I used up there as well, just to kind of bring everything from the top down. black eyeliner to my lower lash line and go in with my Pixie by Petra mascara. I don't have to worry about my coffee getting cold because it's already cold. guys you'll be happy to know I'm not using my Ellery ColourPop lip liner even though it's my favorite I'm just gonna go in with this RK by Kiss perfect precision lip liner and it's kind of like a deep brown shade so it's a deep brown and I'm going to try out this Milani keep it full lip gloss and this one is what nude shimmer number zero two so I'm gonna try out this Milani lip gloss and see how I like it today I don't know why you guys, I just like a good lip liner with just a simple gloss. I like the way it looks. Ooh, now that's a little bit shiny, okay? I like that, that's pretty. I didn't realize that the shimmer or glimmer in this gloss would show up so much. If you, you know, you look at it in the packaging and of course you can see that little like glittery look it has to it, but it looks really nice. I like it, it's pretty. Bomb! Okay, so let's just do a quick roundup of this foundation and this eyeshadow palette that I tried out today. So for the Lorella On The Edge eyeshadow palette, 
it's cute it's cute i would definitely say it's perfect for uh someone who wants to just get their feet wet in color it's an excellent you know beginner friendly colorful palette because these shadows although they are colorful they're kind of muted so they're not like pow in your face color so if you're not really down with that but you do want to play around with some color this palette will work nicely for you because you do have to build it up and even when you build it up as you can see it doesn't get crazy so this is perfect for a beginner who wants to play around in color and just kind of get their feet wet it retails for $24 I believe and for 36 shades that's not a bad deal okay now I didn't use any of the shimmers today I did an all matte look why I don't know I want to keep it simple so let me just go ahead and swatch some of these shimmers while we talk about this foundation so you guys my thoughts on the foundation first impression I like it I like it a lot I love the finish I love the shade that I chose I think it's a perfect match for me it played well with the other products that I like to use on my face on a regular basis so that's always a plus I don't typically put my foundation on with a brush. I really prefer to use a sponge. So just the fact that I can put it on with a brush and it looks really nice and it gives me an excellent finish and coverage, I'm really, really happy about that. Y'all see these shimmers? Maybe I should have used the shimmers today, okay? Because <laughs> these shimmers is, shoot, the mugs is looking nice, okay? So since I did purchase this foundation to use while I'm out of town, I will get a better feel for it after using it a few more times, seeing how it wears throughout the day and all of that good stuff. So I will give you guys an update on the foundation when I get back home and I use it again in another video and I could talk about it a little bit more, but first impression, you guys, I like it. You guys, let me know in the comments what you think about the finish and this foundation because I think it's looking really nice on me, really nice. So, and I'm looking at these shimmers from this palette thinking, okay, maybe I need to uh, <laughs> and retract and give it a second thought because these shimmers are shopping, okay? So these are all the shimmers. I went ahead and just swatched all of them. And I'm also swatching the black just so you can see how pigmented the black is. So that swatch is nicely pigmented for the black. It's not that deep, dark into the abyss black. It's kind of like, I don't know, a charcoal black? No, I don't know. Anyways, you can see, it's not like that super duper black black. It's like a dark, dark gray black, if you know what I mean but it's a very nice black nonetheless. I'm feeling these shimmers, okay? So we gonna revisit this palette and y'all know I'ma jump into that blue shimmer, okay? <laughs> but those are just my first impression thoughts, you guys, on the products that I played with today, the foundation, plus, 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 plus. And I'm really, a, I'm really surprised because of the fact that the last CoverGirl foundation I used, I hated it. So I am happy about this because I'm feeling it, okay? And this palette, like I said, very beginner friendly, great for that, but these shimmers are shit popping too. <laughs> So that's it for Coffee and Color with KK today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me once again. I know my coffee choice was a little bit different today, but I still had fun playing in makeup like I always do, you guys. So thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!